After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops just threw me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head under lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just get me out, just get me out. Your attitude's gonna dictate my attitude, and that's the kind of rule I've always had working here. You know, if you come in and you're polite with me and you have questions, I have no problem taking some time aside, explain to you the process, answering any questions you have. So when you come at me strong, or you're upset, or you're angry, it doesn't make me want to help you anymore. Okay, stretch your feet, man. Don't Stretching. talk to me that way. You just asked a question. Better not talk to me that way. I meant to. Okay. Got it? I'm gonna do a little searching, okay? Spread your feet for me. Talk to me respect. Talk to you respect? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get crazy on you. What the bitch? Oh, I'm just warning you, I'm gonna touch places, okay? You, no, you're not gonna touch you nothing. Don't grab me. You don't touch don't my grab tit. Me. Now let go of my hand. You don't tell me you're let gonna touch go my, my tit and do it. Didn't you just say that? Oh, trust me, I don't like it any more than you do. That's part of my job detail, man. You're nasty. You said you were gonna do it and you did it. You grabbed my nipple, bitch. Hold still. Can I touch your wee-wee like she touched my nipple? <laughs> All right, go down to medical. Go sit down. OK, what do you want? First name. Denise, D-E-N-I-S-C. What are you looking at, bitch? Did you have any alcohol today? Huh? Alcohol. I drink beer every day since so I was four years old, bitch. Why are you on? What about it? Why are you on? What about it? You think my life has changed or something? Changed to what? To what? Oh, no, shut up, bitch. Suicidal? I don't get suicidal, bitch. Don't touch me. We got a Sarge. Are you done? Keep your head down, OK? Keep your head right there. OK. That thing is twisted, though. Put your feet hands down. Oh, but the handcuff is Put your butt down. Put your butt down. Oh, thank you. I did not do that. You tried to bite the officer. No, I didn't. You're I lying. I watched you. I saw okay, you. You're a liar. Yeah. He was teasing me that I was going to bite him. I teased him. You okay. can't tease like that. I don't like He didn't know to say I'm going to yeah. bite him. I'm not an animal. But bitch. you can't tease like that. Right. I don't give a People f don't take it seriously here when you try and do I take like it that. seriously when you tell me I'm going to bite people. I'm not a dog. Do I well, phone you phone said that. that. Excuse me. No, I didn't. You're a liar. No. Stop lying. I'm very angry. Like I would bite somebody. I'm not a dog, bitch. <sighs> what an angry little person she is. I don't know what is with her, but she has some serious Go issues with away. being angry. So turn your mental illness off. Tell me about that female you brought in. She was found in the vacant house. No one's supposed to be in the premise. And I was being nice and give her a written warning. And she decided she didn't want to be quiet. And she kept yelling and causing a scene. So I told her she was going to jump for trespass. And the whole ride over here, she was nice and quiet. Oh, she was? Oh, not a word out of her. <clears throat> and then um, outside, she was getting a little snippy with me. Another officer came out and sang hi. And next thing you know, she stands up, walking door, turns around, goes right after him. So I grabbed her. She's definitely a problem. Yep. And just a trespass. That's all it was. All right. Well, thank you. Yep. She seems to have calmed down. The psych service has already talked to her, so. We're going to take her out of the chair, move her down to the Z6 side cell. OK. So. We can do that. Do you want to roll her down there, then? Yeah, we'll roll her down there. Right. Remain calm like this. We'll get you right out of this chair, all right? Okay. All right, Denise, we're going to pull you out of the chair, OK? I'm sure that's not very comfortable, right? Well, obviously. <laughs> I mean, I'm not stupid, right? Well, I'll put okay. you on the chair, or you can stay okay, in the chair. Okay. It's very simple. Yeah, we just took her out of the chair. I think she'll be fine. She seems to calm down quite a bit. She'll stay in here for additional cool down period. Stay right there until that door no, shuts. Until we're out of here. I'm done. 
every single time. What are you looking at laughing at, bitch? And her mental illness. All right, well, at least no one got hurt. She'll have her nap and we'll feed her in a little while. She'll be released and she'll come back next week. Denise, hey, ma'am, Denise, sit up for a second. What you did to me tonight, I don't respect you no more. First of all, Denise, you don't know who I am, OK? I was on lunch while you came in here. So I was asked to just come down here, get your side of the story. I don't have a side of the story. There is no story at all. Somebody made a mistake, that's it. It wasn't us. Yeah, it was you. It wasn't me, man. There's nobody else in a black and white car besides you guys. I wasn't in the black and white car. Besides 20 of them. I wasn't in the black car. No reason. What, what, what are you all mad about? 20 cars on somebody and then you got the wrong man, dude. That's probably overkill, isn't it? No. You have the no. wrong people? The people on the streets are the ones that you're angry with? What's an overkill is where you came up on me for no reason. I wasn't even there, though. Denise. Period. Every one of you were. Denise. Good. Sorry, Denise. Denise. Ma Denise. Ma'am. Man. I'm done with you no more. You're not a bad person. You just made some bad choices. So just remember you that. You did. There's only one So thank side you very much. Story. Well, you're not telling us yours. We've given sure. you the opportunity. I don't have a side. OK. Good night. You don't understand it, do you? She's still riled up about the whole circumstance from the street. It's more of the uniform that she sees and not the person. People have made a lot of efforts to try to uh, just communicate with her to really find out what's going on with her. And I'm sure all that truth will come out here in the next few days as she's in here. really busy in here. So we're going to get a little bit of everything. We're receiving inmates every, seems like every 15, 20 minutes. Some of these people are starting to get a little restless. It's a really, really busy night. It feels like a weekend, just a normal middle of the week night. All right, why are you two here? I'm here because I was playing guitar on the bridge, and then the officers came up, and they said I'd pack it up. So I was packing it up. And they said that because I wasn't, uh, wasn't packing up fast enough, mm -hmm. they started talking crap to me. Like, not like talking crap, like your classic street talking crap, but just like being rude. I said, respect me like a human being. And then the supervisor said, put her in cuffs. So, because I wasn't cooperating. You had a lot of money, so you make a lot of money doing that. Not usually. So. Oh, OK. So what do you do, leave the guitar case open and people drop tips just to get you by until you find a job? or? Mm -mm. That's what you music do. For a living. Oh, I only okay. do original stuff on the bridge too. Okay. So. We've got your guitar back there, all nice and safe. When you go home, we'll give that back to you. And what's your story, Miss? Why are you here? I'm here because um, they saw me walking, and then they stopped me, and then they asked me if I'd ever been arrested. And of course, I have. So they judged me. And they assumed I was doing something else. But I was just me and my boyfriend to go get some sushi. So like maybe a loitering charge? Yeah, they said it was loitering, but I wasn't doing nothing. So now when they see you, they think you're still. Yeah. They think you're I'm not even allowed on the strip or nothing. How many times have you been here? Is this I your can. first time here? Oh, okay. How long you been in Vegas? A year. A year. Oh, and it's your first time to the jail. That's good. Yeah, yay. That's good. Do you talk to your family still? When I turned 17, uh, I got kicked out for not wanting to do chores. So I lived on my own since then. So That's kind of harsh, because I think most adolescents rebel you against know, the whole it, cleaning I'm of the room. I'm thankful that it happened, though. Like, if it hadn't happened, I wouldn't have been traveling around for the last two years. I wouldn't have got to see, like, you know, I've lived in, like, six different states now. And you're able to sustain yourself? Mm -hmm. and Just my guitar. Roof over your head? Just me and my and guitar. Food in your stomach? Well, good so. for you. I'm glad to hear that. All right. Well, you guys will move along in the process here shortly, OK? I am mad as hell because I didn't do anything. Oh, that's an awful look you're giving me. I don't know. I won't keep them. I don't know. I don't know why you're here. I haven't seen your paperwork. But don't scare me. I might have to go home. Come here, Rhonda. You're going to see medical now. To the right, and this nice guy in the green shirt. There you go. What's your birthday? You got to tell him. No, Rhonda, don't do that. You don't want to mess up your hair. Oh. Rhonda, do you want to hurt yourself? You tell me, you 
done that so well, he, far. He can't read your mind, so we do kind of need you to answer oh, the well, question. Well, they have so far. They've read my mind. Mm -hmm. They said I did this or that, and I didn't. So... But we weren't the ones that arrested you, so we I, just want to take care of you while you're here. Give me a gun. I won't oh. point it forward. I'll point it backwards. Oh. Sorry to hear that. Aha, uh -huh, you missed putting your hand <laughs> I didn't want my hand to get smashed. I moved oh, my hand. Baloney. You know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. You got up today and did your makeup, you did your hair. Uh, just yeah. lipstick, that's okay. it. All right, can you stand up? Didn't you used to do movies? I know. Oh. Oh. Keep that shirt down. Oh, you go, girl. You know how they say beauty is the beast? I say beauty is the beast. When you've got it, you're always gay, and when you haven't, the men are anyway. When you've got it, you've got it, right, Rhonda? Yeah. Sit right there. I still I'm do. Still oh, crooks and criminals. Yeah, it is jail. Are you kidding? Yeah. Rhonda's one of our um, regulars. I'm sure you remember her from upstairs. She was frequenting a business that she's been trespassed, and when they called the police, they asked her her name. She, she didn't give them. She didn't tell them the truth. She lied. And so she wasn't brought in for trespassing, but she was brought in for the furnishing the false information to a public officer. Rhonda, you're probably going to get an OR for your charge. You're not going to be here very long this time, OK? I'm sure that's good news for you. No, I'm still mad that any of it happened. You don't want to stay here. You want to get out, and then in a month, you'll go to court, tell the judge what happened? No matter how you are judged, if the truth you don't tell, your conscience will put you in your own little self. So tell me, is it worth it to sit in these chairs for mixing up your lives in such childish affairs? When you know it is wrong, and you do it anyway, you're just giving that judge the right to put you away. All right, Rhonda, you just rest. OK. Rhonda's making a little more sense now. She won't be here very long unless she has any warrants. All these stickers on the guitar, you've been to all those places? Well, Reggie's I've been to, Night Horse, someone gave me a sticker for it. Scotty Donuts from a concert, uh, Power Man 5000. OK. I guess she every single mom says that ever might be valuable when I get famous. So. Keeps it safe for you? Yeah, she's got like two pairs of my Converse's right now. Like I figured they probably smell bad and look really gross, but someday someone might want my shoes. Well, that's cool. That's Have cool you seen the guitar yet? No, I haven't. Wow. So who painted that? Me. So you're Type Captain Lux. Charlie? Yes. Original artist Captain Charlie. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Please I'm tip for sure. photos. This is my real job. Yeah. I don't want to have a real job ever, like okay. a real job. Okay. What's that tattoo on the back of your neck? It's a captain's suit. Oh, turn around. Let me see. I didn't see that before. So what's the significance there? That's your name, too. Yeah. Uh, well, I wrote a song called Captain, and it's like a big influence on everything that I'm doing as a musician, just going out and traveling around and whatnot. But also, it's a reminder to always be a leader instead of a follower. All right. <laughs> you can stand up and come over here. You going to write a song about this when you get out? You probably should. So we're going to move into the next lobby, where exciting things are going to happen for you. OK. Any, any questions, just check with these officers. You got any questions for me? No? You're good to go? OK, good luck to you. Thanks. All right, <laughs> bye. OK. All right, Alicia was very happy to come in here. So we'll pass out her paperwork, and they'll start calling her name. She'll get processed. We'll give her her guitar back, and she'll she'll go play some more after she gets some rest, probably. Maybe one day. We'll see her in the movies. come in, you can't judge them by their charges. Sometimes they come in for misdemeanors, and once they get in here, things change. They get agitated. We may now have assault on an officer, assault on another inmate. So we always have to stay on our toes and be prepared for anything that comes up. There's a code five. Well, they pull up fast, too, so it might be a good one. Yeah, how you doing? I might be able to speak her out of there. Just calm down a little bit. She's kicking, fighting, spitting, yeah, all that good stuff. Just trying to take her shorts off, stuff like that in the back. It's Kayla, how you doing? I'm not Kayla. I'm Victoria. And I'm not drunk. Can we get these chips up we so sure I can my winnings? We sure will. You're going to cooperate with my officers, right? Look all at right. me. That's yes or no? I'm the yes. OK, let's go. She got some uh, chips. Yeah, she's pulling them out of her 
Yeah. Bad vagina, I guess. All right. I'm going to put my leg over here. No, we'll call you first. Okay, get it. Bring your feet out. Can I get my two red chips? And I think I got one stuck on my butt. Look. Wait, it's stuck on my butt. Okay, we'll get it right here. Because I'm sticky. Look. Here. I won't grab your butt, but hand, no, hand me your No, I'm going to drop it off. Can I just grab it? You know how you feel something sticking on your butt? <laughs> I felt it on my butt that whole ride. In the car, she said she had some poker chips stuck to her backside. and She got her shorts loose, and it just fell out of her, her shorts. <laughs> Shut up. You are I'm going to write you when I leave. Me to shut up. No, that's how I, we talk on the East Coast, bitch. Well, I ain't even calling you no bitch. I'm just saying that Hold well on. Face the wall. I'm facing the wall, girl. I'm face. I'm going to do whatever you want, Miss Kelly. All right. Go, go see away. medical. How tall are you? Four foot ten, about 105, and I was a blonde yesterday. Don't shake your hair. Do you have any medical problems diagnosed by that? I'm born <laughs> That's about it. I've been a lesbian for five years. But that's irrelevant. Any drugs? Turn? I'm going to say What's drugs. Man, I look like a drug addict to you. Like Listen, I've been waiting for 29 years to come to Vegas and act up. And I got arrested for some bull You know all the things I could have got arrested for? I was picking up my ex-girlfriend and I got arrested. Are you suicidal? Do I look suicidal to you? No, oh. no, no. Okay. Oh, he asked don't me a question. How would a suicidal guy do what you open your legs? Miss Kelly, I ain't commit no crime. Stand up. <laughs> we were working on a safe trip down on the uh, boulevard, and we were in front of uh, the, one of the local casinos. As we're there, we get hailed down by uh, security. Security says they have two females that are fighting. Um, we walk over, and we see two uh, females arguing. Uh, trying to fight with security, trying to fight with each other. Um, we're able to detain both of them. Both of them are fighting and kicking us. Apparently, they're um, from Connecticut and they're uh, here on vacation. And they just got a little too had a little bit too much to drink. Um, they had poker chips. They were trying to hide them from each other in their bras and things like that. We spent about 30 minutes before we decided to just take them just straight to jail for fighting with each other in front of the casino. I came out here to have fun. I came out here to be acting my age. Hey, time is over now. Bitch, playtime just help. My grandma's what gonna bomb me word? out in less than five minutes. About that word? Let me make a word. phone call home, see how quick my grandma bomb me um, out. Put your thumb up there. He's just being very verbal and causing a disruption. So we're gonna go ahead and take her to the side cell um, so she can get time to cool down. I've never been arrested for drugs. I'm crazy because I'm from Connecticut. But this is a cool experience. At least I can say I got arrested before I was 30. Put your knee up there. Can you kneel up on that? Like a stripper? Yeah. You know what? You're going to make this real nasty quick. We trying to get nasty quick, whatever there you, you want. want. This comes off. Place your hands high on the wall. I'm like Madonna, like a virgin. Like a virgin. Thank you. Victoria was disruptive out in pre-arrest, so we decided to give her some time to cool down. Uh, sober up a little bit, and then we'll come back and check on her and bring her back out to go through the booking process. So right now we're going to go check on Victoria, see how she's doing, if she's calmed down. Victoria, you want to come up to the door? I got some clothes for you. You want some clothes? OK, come up to the door and get it. Give me your belly piercing. Can you come in there? That's mm -hmm. a belly piercing we didn't, we didn't get. It. Victoria, let me see your belly piercing. I'm going to take it off. What? We need to get your belly Give piercing. Give me your belly piercing. Did you just wake me up to take a jewelry out of my stomach? Is that what you guys do in the middle oh, of the I came here room? to talk to you, see if you could come out of this room. I've but... been sitting here. What time is it? It's around 3 o'clock. OK, so I've been sitting here asleep for like three hours. No, right? it's about an hour or less. Are you going to give me your belly piercing? Am I going to get out of here tonight? No. All right. Dude. Hold her down. Mm, you know, I was trying to be nice to you for a minute. Okay, I'm being nice. Again? Yeah. Nice, sweetie. Hopefully you stay there for a minute. Mm -hmm. I'll get 
So right now she has a bit of an attitude. Um, try to talk to her, see if she would talk to us about what happened. Once she comes down, we'll continue her process. She'll have her poker chips waiting for her when she gets out. And the doors open up and they leave me outside. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home. I've been thinking about my needs. I don't